It's Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing The Walking Dead. I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead TV series. Uh, really enjoyed the first two seasons so much. I was excited when the show first came on the air, probably because of the first trailer I ever saw. And the main reason that caught my eye is because it showed um, a scene in Atlanta, and I live in the metro Atlanta area. And there's not many TV series that are set in Atlanta. A lot of stuff is filmed here, but they very rarely set stuff on there. So, just briefly seeing a little flash up of the Atlanta skyline, I'm like, hey, you know, that's kind of near where I live. Let me check a little bit more about that show. So I watched the full trailer, and boy, did it catch my attention. For anybody that's not familiar with The Walking Dead, it is a, a show set in a kind of a zombie apocalypse top scenario, and it's based on um, some graphic novels. So I, I've never read the graphic novels before. So I watched season one, season two, really enjoyed them a lot. Um, after season one, I knew that The Walking Dead was based on these graphic novels, and I kind of thought about looking into it, because The Walking Dead quickly became one of my favorite TV shows, if not my favorite TV show. But I'm like, eh, I'm not sure if I really want to get into reading that or not. That all changed after season two, because with season two, after every episode of The Walking Dead, AMC um, had a talk show on afterward called The Talking Dead, which was kind of a recap of that week's episode, and they kind of talked to the, the actors and the creators of the show and some fans, stuff like that. And they kept on referencing how um, the TV series was either similar or different to the, um, the no graphic novels. Um, if a certain character was ever going to be introduced, you know, out of like that, things they were looking forward to that were in the graphic novels but hadn't been, appeared in the TV series yet. And that really piqued my interest about the graphic novels of The Walking Dead. So I kind of got to think out of well, after season two is over, let me look into that. Um, I knew there had been a lot of issues of it at all. Well, you know, maybe there's a collective version of it. So I went to my local bookstore. They just had the single issues, um, and it was like $10 a pop for one. I was like, I knew there were a lot of it. To me, that's a little bit more money than I wanted to invest in reading this. So I started looking online, and I found out they had done some collected versions of this. So I ended up and got The Walking Dead Compendum 1, which is um, basically collects um, the issues 1 through 48. And if I understand correctly, they just recently did issue 100. So basically about a half of the issues they've ever done. I could be wrong about that. I was just thinking I've seen an article recently that said they just got to the 100th issue. Um, so I said, well, this would be good. And it, it was a good value compared to buying the, the issues um, individually. So I thought, you know, as a diehard fan of the TV series, it's about time that I invested and kind of found out more about this. So... Uh, I was excited, read it, and I really enjoyed it. Um, first, there's a few things I want to say that um, it is different than the TV series. So if you're like me and you've just been watching the TV series and you've never read the book, don't worry about spoilers because as I know they talked about The Talking Dead, they changed the TV series a lot from the graphic novels. Um, there's characters in the TV series that are not even in the graphic novels, characters that... Um, survive in the TV series or killed off early or vice versa, you know, um, people that survive and grab them, no, my guy killed in the TV series. Um, there's some basic stuff that are similar, but they change enough that you're not really getting too much spoilers. Um, so don't worry about that. The other thing that struck me is how, how accurately the TV series has in order to stick to the basic premises of the characters. You really get the same spirit of what the characters are like in the graphic novels in the TV series. Now what really blew me away is when you look at the pictures of the characters, how closely they came on both of them of how the actors that portray the characters look like how they're portrayed in the graphic novels. Great story um, for the TV series. And I've never really got into graphic novels, so I wasn't sure how I'd like it. And plus, I looked at this and it's absolutely huge. And I'm now I'm going to be reading this like for a month or two to get through this. Um, but much like the TV series, the graphic novels are so compelling. There's so much um, suspense and you never know what's going to happen. It's one of those things that you have a hard time putting it down. You just read and read and you put it down within a few minutes like, you know, let me just read a few more pages, and you read a few more, and you just, you have a hard time stopping. So I read this a lot more quickly than I anticipated. Great, 
great storyline, very action-packed. At the same time, they still explore the characters. They still explore um, human interactions. I think um, one thing The Walking Dead, both the TV series and the book, really tries to um, focus on is what it means to be human and how the humans are different from The Walking Dead. What it really means to be alive. You know, are you just going through the motions or are you still trying to, you know, live? The Walking Dead does a great job exploring that um, issue in both the written version and the TV version. So if you've never watched the TV show, season three will be starting. I encourage you to go out and either Netflix, DVD, whatever, watch the first two seasons of Walking Dead. It's absolutely brilliant. And perhaps if you're into graphic novels or you're interested in reading, check out The Walking Dead, either individually, the issues individually or, like I did, a collective version. I'm definitely looking forward to reading more of The Walking Dead in the future. I'm probably at this moment, I was thinking, I'll probably wait until after season three is over, and after season three is over, I'll kind of look out and see um, if there's any collected versions beyond the issues that I've read. So that's what I wanted to talk about today is The Walking Dead. I strongly encourage you to check out both the TV um, series and the graphic novels. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you enjoy um, horror or suspense, but at the same time, if you enjoy drama, I think you'll really enjoy this. I've told a lot of people that when I say I like The Walking Dead, they're like, ooh, you know, really zombies? I'm not sure if I can count that. I basically tell them, you know, think of the, sh the drama that you like the most, be it like, you know, The West Wing or Mad Men or Breaking Bad or whatever, whatever drama you really enjoy, and take that same show and then just throw zombies in there. It just wraps up, you know, ramps up the tension, the action, gives an extra layer of unpredictability. That really is what The Walking Dead is. It's a great drama with that layer of unpredictability because of the zombies. So I strongly encourage you to check out The Walking Dead. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you the next time.